Hi guys and welcome back to the Tried It podcast where we'll be discussing all things from millennial struggles to relationships and love and everything in between. I'm Kadisha. I'm Jade. And I'm Maya. Hi, how is everyone? Good. I'm actually good. I am actually good. Good. It sounds like you're not what to be. Like I was rehearsing that. Am I good? I'm good. No, I am actually good. I was just, today I was just um, thinking about how quick the day goes. Like literally. Today went quick. I was But I was busy today Yeah exactly And I always have stuff to do And I was just thinking Most nights Most days It feels like I leave my bed And I don't see my bed again Until I'm getting in it Which I know is the case For most people But it's not like I avoid going in my room Because if I go in my room I'll get in my bed mm, yeah, And yeah, then I'll do fun things Like Sleep Yeah Or, <laughs> or watch something on my laptop Or do you know what I mean Not yeah. what I'm supposed to do yeah. So I stay right downstairs And then that's nice Because then your bedroom Is is mm. reserved for I don't have that luxury sleep. I go in my room for also. I go in my room just to sit down sometimes and just be there and just <laughs> contemplate life. <laughs> yeah, same with me. I literally have all sorts in my room. Like I just there's a little sofa area. So if I want to just sit down, there's that. There's my desk area, so I can sit there and do work. I have like my makeup area, and I also have my bed area. So yeah, your like, room is like a studio leave. apartment. I, like, I just studio. don't leave. I wouldn't sometimes either. I'm like, I should probably see go someone. Downstairs. <laughs> like, like, you should downstairs. probably let them Actually, know I'm still alive. Yeah. <laughs> probably venture downstairs. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> Maybe I haven't eaten in a week, so <laughs> let me go get some food. That's funny. But yeah, so today's episode, we wanted to talk about all things coronavirus. I actually came up with doing this episode earlier because we were all talking and I was like, guys, maybe we should prepare some episodes. I think episodes. that was not the case. It was a lot more urgent than that. It was like, <laughs> guys, guys, no, can you hear me? It, <laughs> it was. We need to it stop. It wasn't. That's how you Right now. And we need to start batch recording because we're all going to die. I'm sorry. As though, like, as though like, the tanks and read. the drones are coming and like, we need to get rations. Message. She got a personal message from the Chinese government herself yeah. saying you're next. Oh my yeah, god, basically. that is absolutely not what happened. But anyways, it is. We'll put the screenshots what? up. Yeah, we'll put the screenshots up, and you guys yeah. can see. So I was like, guys, I think we should do some, um, like, prepare some episodes just on hand if we need them. If the in case we die, spreading basically. Talk like, us through people what led to... up to this. Like, what was what made you say that? I feel like we'll say this. Uh, I feel like at the end of the episode, it will become clear why I said this, right? okay, as we fine. like see. Unravel. But I'd rather like these guys are very nonchalant about it. Like it's obviously not a big deal. Like what are you talking about? You're going mm. insane, as you can tell. <laughs> so I feel like first of all, we'll hear from you guys aside, and then I'll like go with mine and why I think what I think. Okay, cool, fine. So personally, I've been reading this book. Anyway. Brief outline is it's about a um, Nigerian girl and she moves from Nigeria to America and it's all about her and her life and her partner and her friends and everyone and her whole life in Nigeria and it's weird because she's not escaping war she's not escaping a bad life at all like they had a really good life in Nigeria but it's always given to you um, in every way you look that England and America as host countries are better. And one of the first things she said when she got to America was like, oh, auntie, I can't even live here anymore. Like, it's just so scary. I can't even go outside. Like, if I put on the news, everything's on there all the time. So many mm. killings, so many murders, so many this, so many that. And then the auntie was like, do you think crime doesn't happen in Nigeria? You just don't report that. And mm. then I started thinking about it. And every other country I've ever been to, the news has never been as dramatic and depressing as ours is mm. and like even the tone in which news is reported it always makes me feel a bit like I always get a bit of a shiver because I'd be like and there's been 18 deaths and da 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 da, da on Brighton News Sunny on the weekend and it's like how yeah. is there no difference <laughs> they, they, they don't report good stuff enough I feel like at all and when they do it's depressing. something so stupid like this sheep put his thumb up yeah yeah <laughs> but why or do like, they report yeah. things next to each other of such different importance do you know what I mean I like the importance of people dying and the importance of a new emoji is not the same yeah. why are you reporting them on the same in the same headline it's yeah. just so like crazy and I feel like that's why we're just drip fed this information to create hysteria and to create fear mongering Mm. Mm -hmm. you go which is exactly what I believe coronavirus is I honestly I, I wanted to do this as like my pick for one of the pick and mixes but I could honestly talk about it all day long so I oh think gosh. it's better to talk <laughs> about it in an episode oh like God. this just because I mean I've said it before like I I'm a strong believer in like conspiracy theories mm -hmm. and I definitely believe that and aliens. I've said it previously as well not aliens no you think aliens aren't like oh well, yeah I think aliens and all of that no I think I think there's life anyway not doing that right now <laughs> um 
I think that whenever there's something important going on in the world, there's some sort of big shebang that they put out on the news to distract us. Agree. And I feel like it happens all the time and it comes and it goes and we just, we're, we're like going insane about it. There's a big uproar and then literally we forget about it. Like what happened to the um, fires in Australia? What's happening with that? Mm. Is it still there? Is it not there? No, Is it burnt? Is it not? The, are the animals okay? Are, they, are we extinct of any? Like, who knows? Nobody knows. Sudan. What happened with Sudan? Exactly. Like, what's going on with them now? Does anybody know? No. And yeah, um, no one follows up. <clears throat> no one follows up. But, but you know, during no the time, everybody goes so hard for it. They forget they've got jobs. They forget they've got kids. They forget they've got lives and hobbies. And they go so hard for this thing. And then it's over. No one talks about it again. No mm. one even remembers it. Do you know what mm. I mean? Until mm-hmm. like one random person brings it up and then it's like, a, oh yeah, moment. Yeah. And I just think it's so weird. And especially with this corona, it's not a new thing. 100%. And and apparently there's different strains of it, which nobody's mentioned. Like, so there's like, let's just, I, I, don't, know, I don't know what they're called, but let's just call them one to five. So there's like strain one to five and only strain three can kill you. But if you've got strain two, you might just have achy bones if you've got strain three like that things like that and also it's existed for ages like it's it's happened it's been happening for ages and then you've seen that screenshot of the simpsons in 93 when they wrote uh, but did you guys see that i seen the picture uh, of it's like lol when um simpsons um fought foreshadows the future mm, or something like when they did it for ebola exactly yeah and they said in 93 there was an episode that was like oh my god the coronavirus and blah, 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 exactly and, and it's just like it, it's been around it's not new and the thing is they're saying what the how they're saying that the chinese people i could go on all day how they're saying that the chinese people got this virus from eating such animals and stuff have they not been doing that from day dot it's not new they didn't just decide yesterday let's start eating bats <laughs> Okay. Okay. So the way that like what it is 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 that this hasn't been around before. There's been different kind of viruses. Like there was the SARS virus in 2002, which is like the most similar thing that we've kind of had, which killed I think it killed like 2,800 people, something like that. Um, And that was really serious. And it comes and this is kind of similar. So it basically comes from an infected animal. We also had that with mad cow disease. So like an Mm. animal can become infected with something. And they said, I think they said that it originated, it looks like a disease from bats. And it's not necessarily that Chinese people have eaten bats, which is what what, all this thing was going on on social media. Like Chinese people eating all this crazy stuff. But it could have been like an an animal ate the bat or um, an animal was bitten by the bat or whatever. It could have been like someone just ate a pig. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't necessarily that someone's eating a bat um and so in that sense yeah i feel like that's where all like the kind of racism kind of stemmed up was where people were kind of being a bit rude about it and obviously saying that every chinese person was like sick with it and everything yeah i think that's Um, ridiculous and i think that is another reason why coronavirus is just out of order because it's like whoever's feeding this information to us and making us feel the type of way is to encourage racism towards... But I think that was our own society's doing. That that was people in the comments, people posting memes, joking Yeah, but it's like, for example, if you, know, if you know that you're going to um, throw a bone on the floor, you know a dog's going to run to it. So if you, if you put this out there, you know that... Major, like a majority of England is racist mm. so you know they're going to jump on this and then start acting racist and start moving mad and like if to just back that point you know like with like the um, bombings in uh, July that year what year was it? Yeah, in London yeah the tube bombings oh yeah it was in July 7 it was I know it was, was July 2007 but no I what don't think it was before that the, there was some bombings in right. July in London in 2004, in maybe. Right. Might have been, yeah, it might have been 2004. Anyway, for me, as a child, I was obviously in like year four, year five. It might have been two, yeah, it was young, it is. I noticed instantly, especially because I grew up in a very predominantly Muslim area, how much Muslim people were attacked instantly. Yeah. Like we even mm, like, had mm. assemblies about it. Everything was saying. so bad. And from then that's when I started noticing and that's when instantly anytime there was something terrorist, anytime there was something Muslim, the two went hand mm. in hand and that was it. And that mm. definitely in my eyes now as an adult was the government's way mm-hmm. of controlling, putting it out there and starting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I do see in certain narratives that is the sense. But for me, when I saw about people being racist online about all Chinese people eating weird things, it was even like 
friends and stuff sending it. Like even I think even like I laugh. Oh my god, they're eating these bats. But blah, 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 that's where it came from because that's what was all over social media. That's what everybody thought, and that was I feel like that was our it's own not, society. It's doing. not just from the bats, but there's pictures going around of the the market where some of these things were the meat sold. Markets, yeah. And like and I've seen as well documentaries mm-hmm. where people go to um China and they're walking through and just the, the general hygiene yeah, and cleanliness and stuff. Where mm-hmm. No, it is, it is. And they it's probably have their own diseases of their own that's killing out their people, mm-hmm. that, but it's not coming over here. But this is the point I'm trying to make. This is not new. Mm-hmm. Like people are getting viruses from like you can get salmonella here mm-hmm. and that can yeah, that can kill different. you. I think that I don't even know where to be an issue. <laughs> Started with so much shit. Um, but yeah, so I know that one of the main things that people were saying was like, how is coronavirus different to the normal flu? Like whenever I say this, people will be like, yeah, well, Flu's like the flu is the same. Like it's, it's been around, mm. like no one makes a big deal of that. More people will die from the flu, blah, blah, blah. That's how I, I said that. And like, yeah, <laughs> people say that like, all the time. Mm. But like with the flu, I think it was like 0.9% um, of people basically get some type of serious illness or like die from from a flu basically, only 0.9%. And with coronavirus, it's like 20% of people get severe like pneumonia basically, and 3% die. So only like 9, 0.9% of people with the flu will die. And two to 3% of people with the coronavirus will die. So it's obvious and it spreads much more, like it's much more easy to spread the coronavirus. With the flu, it doesn't it doesn't spread as much. And this, with coronavirus, it will spread to on average 2.5 other people. So imagine you're on the How tube. How do we know that? Because there's been studies done where they've like, they can they can test basically with the, the technology that we have how easy this is to spread basically and how easy it catches on. If they can just obviously we have studies now with technology that we're able to measure that. Um, and just to put it out there, like with everything that I've looked up today, like I have got from like reliable sources like the Financial Times or like scientific papers that I found online of like studies that they're research that they're doing on this at the moment. So I haven't just got this from like the Guardian and stuff like that. Um, BBC. Huh? Yeah, the bloody BBC there. <laughs> it's really easy to spread. Like, imagine someone on the tube, right? There's 2.5 people that on average that you're going to spread it to. So say like, whatever, I'm going to like cough and put my hand on the side or something. Imagine how many people on the tube are going to touch that. And then how many people therefore are going to spread it to. If this gets on the tube, like I just dread to think like how quick that would bloody spread. It makes me feel sick. But yeah, um, and the thing is like, it's different to the flu because this is, it can make, it, it is like for, for young people, for sure, that this isn't going to be a big deal. Like if you're healthy and you're young, like this is going to be fine for you. Like for us, like it's going to be fine. Yeah, for the most of the people in the UK, I feel like people are going to get sick. Obviously, young people do get really badly sick as well. Or people that have old people, babies, or people with um, underlying health conditions, like they're all going to be at risk um, of dying. Um, but I feel like for the most part, like we will be fine because we have the NHS, we have healthcare, we have like hospitals and stuff. But I think what well, I'll get down to like my main point of why I think this is so serious. It's not because I'm thinking you're going to get of it. me. Mm. I'm not like I'm going to be fine and likelihood my family's going to be fine and my likelihood the people in the UK, even if we do get sick, like we're going to be fine. But there is this is a worldwide global spreading sickness where people don't always around the world have access to healthcare, have access to hospitals, have access to like things that we have medicine and everything. So it's going to be country people that are the poorest people or the countries that are developing countries or the most crowded countries that need more resources that are going to suffer the most. And I just feel like even if, I mean, even in but our that, own country. That happens with, that could be anything. Mm. Like if you don't, yeah, like, if, if you don't have healthcare. Yeah, we can do to stop it by washing my hands yeah, 100%. But, like. Yeah, but if you, but the thing is, if you're saying that and you're saying that coronavirus is out there now, there's nothing stopping it from getting to these poor area, it is, areas. If we wash our hands and we contain it within our own, we can stop it now. Yeah, if we wash our hands here, and but you're saying enough, that we, we have healthcare and stuff here. But if they if they don't have the healthcare and stuff to look after them, a common cold could kill them. A common cold is killing them. Yeah, but this is more severe. So then, even more, it's like but you're still gonna die. See, I hate when people say like people like when I talk to people, they'll be like, "Oh, but people have diabetes, people have heart disease, people have this." And it's like that doesn't excuse like, "Oh, what? So it's fine for like a no, couple no, more no. thousand people to die?" It's not. I'm not saying. I'm no in no way saying it's fine that a couple more thousand people are gonna die. Say that to the camera. So <laughs> I'm not <laughs> saying. I'm definitely hundred percent not saying. Not an advocate. Obviously, of corona over here. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not no. an advocate. But what I'm saying is, I just feel like it's it's put into it's put the fear into people, and I just feel like there's so many things. 
things out there. There's so many viruses that we don't even know about that's killing people. There's people dying with unknown causes Mm -hmm. and it's because of a virus that we don't even know about. And I just don't, like the world has been around that we know of for 2020 years. And you mean to tell me that it's taken that long for a virus to come and start wiping out people? I don't, I just find it so hard to believe. We've had bird flu. In my lifetime, we've had foot and mouth, bird flu, swine flu, HIV, all of the STDs. We've got flu, we've got cold, we've got cancer that's wiping out people like nobody's business. And everybody's Sickle losing cell. their mind yeah. We've got sickle cell we, we, And everyone's losing their mind Over coronavirus mm-hmm. I just find it so is, ridiculous like, Because the reason why These sicknesses keep coming up Is because With each person that gets it Whatever As the more people get it The, the like, And we ha- we can have medicines And whatever And we Our body makes antibodies Basically to fight this illness mm. But the illness Learns as it spreads And it changes slightly So there's, that's why There's different strains Because it will almost like Changes slightly so that it can keep going on. Do you know what I, I mean? Know, yeah. So we have to keep developing new, new like. Um, mm, but they're not going to why... because they want people to die. Well, when I say they, I'm yeah, talking about I mean, the government. Yeah, conspiracy. Not Jade. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're coming up with. They're trying to find like a. They're not. A treatment now. They've they're tried not. like HIV treatment, like Ebola um, cures and stuff like that. But I, I think that. But like, what happened important... to Ebola? Because I'm pretty sure it's still happening. I'm pretty know. sure I mean, people are still getting Ebola. Ebola. I think that, I highly no, doubt no, no, it's been no, wiped I'm out. I'm pretty sure that they. I think I so read they've that wiped they, out the whole of Africa where it came from. Yeah, I doubt. You mentioned threat. That's a very good place to start. Anything that is going to threaten anyone in power mm-hmm. will be contained. The exactly. Corona, exactly. Corona. corona is a big, serious thing that is threatening our economy. Imagine all the. Imagine like everyone in the UK getting sick at the same time. Our hospitals can hardly stand how it is now. So imagine everyone getting sick, like everyone that see. has an underlying like, health from old people, babies going into hospitals at the same time. Like, can you imagine I the just, NHS would like crumble to yeah, pieces? But, so it's hey, crumbling. I just can't. Exactly. With the flu. Exactly. So but, imagine with this, this is going to be. Yeah, but this is what I'm saying. But if it wasn't Corona, it would be flipping. Yeah, but people don't Desperado. get the flu at the same time every year. Like people don't. That if was everyone in the that country so got the, the normal flu at yeah. the exact same time, yeah. then we would be having the same issue. That's the threat. Exactly. The fact that it's happening all at once. But yeah, this but is what I'm saying. Like, also, over the year. as well, you just said young people aren't going to get it. Like our people age aren't going to get yeah, it. Yeah, but we're going to spread it to other people. But not and we could go on holiday and like. Spread it so to you're other saying we could have it in us, right? I could have Corona right now, not know yeah, about and it, and have no, and then no... go and see my nan, hug yeah. her, and she'll get in and die. Yeah, hundred <laughs> oh percent. <I'm> yeah. not... <laughs> and I know that we laugh, but the reality is that like thousands of people have died. Don't hug your nan is the rule. People have died, like people's families have died. So I just can't. That's why I think I see this very of it because I'm such an empathetic person, that, like. I think of every single one of those people that have died. And it of makes course, it's, so it's sad. sad. It but is extremely die sad. From every yeah, but that I just said that. that. A few more Disclaimer thousand people to the camera. dying is okay. It's not That's what okay. you're saying by like saying, oh, but thousands people not die every day. It's okay, so what's the few thousand more? We're not That's saying that it's okay, what but what saying. we're saying is if they don't die from corona, they're going to die from something yeah. else. So if we can prevent this, then I'd be glad if they can live an extra week or two. If it means just me washing my hands, it can prevent a lot like yes, wearing masks. Yes, people mask, wash your hands. We're not saying. But people aren't people doing sh- it because no, of okay. scaremongering. Right, right, no, but this is what I'm saying. Wait, because what I'm saying. Can the camera? Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Honestly. Right. What I'm saying is. Coronavirus, no coronavirus. People need to wash their hands. People should be keeping good hygiene, period. Like it shouldn't take for coronavirus for people for them to stop putting up hand sanitizer in public spaces. Do you know what I mean? It shouldn't take for coronavirus for people to encourage wiping down desks and stuff after mm-hmm. before and after you use it. This is what I'm saying. So people being trampy is just being people be do you know what I mean? We shouldn't be saying like because of I corona, mean, let's because, all because wash our hands and wave. Yeah, and when and because we're not, I'm not saying as well because people aren't washing their hands is why corona started because it's not just not people not washing their hands because it's not practical for me to get off the tube and come in here and wash my hands straight away. Do you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it's not it's not just that. So it's something else. And what I do just, you mean it's something else? As of in, why it's spreading? Yeah. It definitely spreads because yeah, why you cannot be sick. It's literally just like the food. So like, are you touching your mouth and then like putting your hand on the side and then someone touches that and put that in their mouth or their eyes, touching your eyes or your mouth. Um, even if you aren't showing any symptoms, you're less likely to spread it because you're not like coughing or like sneezing and actually making the droplets like come off. Um, but still, like if you touch your mouth and stuff and then touch someone else, they can get it. But obviously when you are 
actually showing symptoms, like that's when you spread it the most. Like even you should like try and stay a meter away from someone that's like but coughing or sneezing. He, here's or, what I'm saying, yeah. So the same way you just said, most people m- middle age, so like let's just say I don't know, ten to. 50 are mm. going to be fine because they're healthy enough to oh, it depends look if after they have an underlying health condition but yeah. yeah but anything before or after that you're more vulnerable it's the same for a cold so yeah, wash, cold washing your hands isn't as serious it can't like but if you're in those vulnerable ages it can be it can be but it's less likely to much less likely to but it still can be so but people weren't washing their hands when that was a risk yeah but this has 2 to 3% fatality rate if, that's high if corona wasn't announced as the issue and it was actually HIV and there were stings everywhere being like HIV is a huge problem now we're stopping yeah, flights if it was like HIV that, is blah, 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 spreading blah. around the world at this rapid rate yeah. everyone's about to get HIV we would be the same like everybody do what you can and what could you do I don't know I haven't looked up on what you can do for HIV yeah, but but use my, protection I suppose yeah, <laughs> yeah but I don't <laughs> think that there's much, like a corona a flu is airborne do you know what I mean mm-hmm. I can be in the same room as someone and get the flu just yeah. to go near them mm-hmm. they could cough and then yeah. I'm breathing you it can. in you can it's the drop if you're um, they say stay a metre away um, and they fly. then you should be okay it's it, it's like by a metre then it should be fine like it doesn't travel that far and they say like if you sneeze in, you sneeze don't in sneeze into your hands like you sneeze into your elbow and that way like you won't spread it with your hands if people do that like, or you wear a mask if you're sick like wear a mask and even if you're not it will stop them droplets like getting into your mouth or by you so if people just make little changes like we can prevent this we can stop this and it's even like I went to go like take my car basically to get an MOT the other day and there's this guy who's working there and he was like yeah I just got back from Italy like two days ago I was like isn't the coronavirus there or whatever and he was like yeah yeah I just thought it's all like it's all just scaremongering isn't it it's all, it's all just scaremongering check That's my temperature at the hospital and I'm fine I was like it's yeah, people but- like this that are going to cause it to spread because use your logic yeah, Jade, like, you might not Jade, be showing you symptoms you could have it right now yeah, I know. That's why I'm bare washing my hands and trying to make could, sure but, I have a mask. Wash Whether you wash your hands or not, you still got it. Yeah, I wear a mask. Like, mm. I try and do whatever I can. You can only do whatever you can. But my point is that people aren't doing whatever they can because they think it's scaremongering. Well, That's I, the point. Okay, so you said that you're this concerned and upset about it because of the thought of other people who don't have the resources we have dying as a result Just of, us. of loads of things. Like, the thought of even people in our own country. I mean, if the, the thought of... I was thinking about this the other day. Like, there could be someone with cancer and they could be like, I am going to survive this. But imagine... Like they have a they have a likelihood of surviving cancer or whatever. But then with the coronavirus going around, actually they're not gonna survive anymore. Like I just think of stuff like that. And like so it's not it's in our own country, the NHS, our economy will suffer, the world economy will suffer. There was an economist saying that there could be a worldwide We're already recession. Suffering. We're in um, Brexit. Exactly. So again, like, why are we going to add on to that if it's something that could be prevented? Yeah, but I can't see people are like, like, literally, like, snotting on the street to try and. Or it's yeah. even like just corona. containing yourself, like that guy, like contain yourself. If you've been to a like a place that's yeah, but at then risk, something else yourself. is going to suffer. So what you're saying is, if if um everyone gets it and the economy is going to suffer and blah, blah blah, if everyone stays in their house and nobody comes out to prevent spreading corona, mm-hmm. the economy is still going to suffer because the banks aren't going to be open, the buses aren't going to drive themselves. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Like better, Tesco's not. Gonna be open. The suffering. You're that's gonna... what I'm saying. It's like, yeah, but, if, but, but if, sometimes if you don't go and work and you don't do this, then, then you, you are just... still gonna lose life yeah, because exactly. you can't pay your bills and you exactly. Can't... Yeah, like... but in this country we have like, I mean, so they're not gonna benefits, allow everybody so to sign have on. A certain level of being able you, you, to live. Yeah, but you have to have it's a reason like for being jobless. People are gonna be begging on the street. Like we have. Like yeah. infrastructure no, enough in place that no, here, no, no, because people are homeless. So what's the reason? Yeah, homeless people will die, like, obviously, because they don't have oh the, enough God. to do. I'm not saying everyone will be no, but you, spared. No, w- but what we're saying is, if everybody just can't, it's not an option to just stay in your house and stay self-contained. I have bills to pay. Yeah, but it's and my reducing the spread. The, in China, where everyone stayed at home, they were dramatically able to reduce the spread of the virus. But you can't just turn life off loss, because of you will die though. of starvation. And you also, can't order Tesco delivery because that man's at home contained in himself. And also, what are you, like, are you, are GP centres... <laughs> Like, to my knowledge, are GP centres open every day for people to just walk through and scan and see if they've got it? If you are, no, you're not. Don't go to the GP if you have my, coronavirus. That's my, the thing. Wait, wait. My hospital people has a hub. My, hosp- yeah, okay. my hospital yeah, built a hub. Have a specific they've hub built like a little. It. They've built like a little yeah, like room like with a with a phone. Yeah, Actually, I think it's made of like chipboard. Yeah, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's got a phone in there, and yeah. if you think you've got it, you ring the number mm-hmm. and then the team comes and gets you with masks on yes. and, ba- and basically bags thing. you up and takes Where you to A&E. people think it's scaremongering they're like not listening and people were literally walking into their GPs and that's what's causing the issue. People just 
aren't taking it seriously, in my opinion. Like, I'm not trying to scare people into thinking like you're going to die tomorrow because likelihood is you're fine. But it's not you to be worried about. Like it's other people that you want to stop it spreading. Like that's the thing. Like people don't even know that hospitals or, and places have specific things. Like there's specific procedures you should follow. If I you just feel like people it, in general, coronavirus or no coronavirus, should just be taking better care of themselves so in general and have greater greater regard towards other people's health in what they do. But I mean, there's a thousand and one STDs out there, but people are still sleeping sleeping with people without protection they're not bothered mm-hmm. about that they're not bothered about what they can catch or spread or babies that are going to be made do you know what i mean so they're not well, they're not going to think about catching coronavirus do you think i do i think from what you're saying you're feeling it from the from the helpless so you're feeling it from that old person who is washing their hands who is doing all these things and then uh, uh, like it's not her fault but then she comes into contact with someone who hasn't been doing that and but, now she but has if it she is washing her hands should she not saying? get it um, what am I coming from that alone? Like, am I just coming? I mean, I have because really because in that. your situation, it's like if a person is having sex unprotected mm. and you get an STD, mm. that's your fault. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing I can do for you. Mm. You should have worn, worn a condom. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. it. And I don't think any of us would be like, oh, it's a really sad shame, babe. Like, that's what yeah. happens. But with, <laughs> with Corona. Yeah, you're there saying could be someone the that is doing everything they can, who's... but someone who thinks, "Oh, this is just this is nonsense," how would you... is the one that could be the one person can. But how would you is, get it if you're doing the whole country? If you're spreading around the whole country, I if one person has it, you but if I else, let, then all say, those four people, let's say I... you give it to another four people. <laughs> So let's say, let's say I have it, yeah. Literally, what I know she's saying, losing it. One That's how it started. Someone ate a piece of meat, got infected, and spread it around. That's exactly what happened. Okay, one small, all right, fine. small market in Wuhan, they literally bought this piece of meat, ate it, and that's where. How do you think it spread around the world? Okay. So far, so you don't but the thing is, with... okay, wait, sorry. So rewind a little bit. You said that it could have been the animal of the meat that they ate that could have ate something else and then got it right. Yeah. So when, originating from a bat, as in the bat is likely to okay. So a bat, so bat could have bit that. Something. You need to tell me in two thousand in twenty thousand and twenty years that animal has never eaten a bat before. I don't know how By the bat accident. can just get infected somehow. I don't how? know how. Where, it can get like, infected. where did the infection come and from? How is there bats? No? I don't know. Bats still die. I don't know. They could have just. I don't know, but. How is there no? Like I just don't see how something like this cannot be contained. Uh, like it's ridiculous in- because of lack of awareness from people and people like if it, I think because now it's it's starting to spread right if we all just like I know this isn't going to happen don't get me wrong but like, if we all stayed in our house and isolated for two weeks because that's how long it takes to pass or whatever um, if we stayed in our houses for two weeks or however long it would take for it to pass then we would come back out and they stop flights for a while until every country has kind of like sorted like sorted this out and got it under control it would be gone. Like, it would be gone. What's the cure but instead, for it? we What's wait. The cure? We don't have a cure right now. So it's just like people were just going to die and, the, and then we just have to... No, there like, is a the, cure. There isn't. There 100% isn't a cure right now. They're working on one. They're so trying people to, that there's have, a virus. Not everybody so that gets vaccine. it is dying. No. Maybe because it's like a flu. Obviously, you can get, you can. You, some people just have enough antibodies or whatever to, to, to get, get over, over it. it. If you have a good strong immune system, oh, so you just you get can over just it. overcome so, it with antibodies and whatever. So there's no yeah, there's no medicinal cure. No, there's that, no medicinal yeah. cure. Okay, but 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 people will need the hospital. For example, if you get like a lung infection, you but can get other infections from it. That was it. You can get like lung diseases and stuff from it, like pneumonia, and that's when they would need like um, ventilators for their lungs and stuff like that, and hospital beds and, mm. and help in that sense. <laughs> but yeah so I mean I don't know I just feel I feel I've never really seen you strongly this far, about it evidently I've never yeah. seen you this riled up about something yeah let alone something that is like so removed like to me I know it's ignorant of me but I find this the same level as me literally losing sleep over something happening what did you in- do I'm, um what did you do when it was um swine flu I was so young I was didn't you still really- eating chicken I didn't even know what swine and, flu and was back and... then. I really didn't. I thought it was a song. Do you remember the swine flu song? Catch it, bin it, kill it. Yeah. That so was... I literally was in school like year seven and I really Have didn't understand any what other, it really was. Any other things like this that you've lost? No, I've never. Remember. What about no, Ebola? That wasn't that long ago. Yeah, I was still in school. Um, and definitely if it happened you now, wasn't in I would school. be. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I don't no, know. Ebola, think... was about, of time. Ebola was about five years ago. Yeah, I was in school. <laughs> <laughs> you were 18 five years ago yeah I'm 25 years old I was 18 five years ago so is she we're yeah. 23 that was in school Oh, right, we're not adding. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Right, okay. Well, yeah, definitely. Awkward. If anything else would, would would happen like this on this scale now, I would I would feel the same way. 
Um, yeah, but but you know, I think you've the... said previously on the pod and whatever that you are really scared of death and everything like that. And yeah, I think this is adding to your fear. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I did think about that, and I mean, it definitely makes me more empathetic because I do think about the people that or are dying, anxious. people that have lost people. I don't feel anxious about it because I know I'm not gonna be on my like I'm gonna be fine. I'm sure the people around me are gonna be fine. Um, but I just think it really gets it just gets to me when I understand. Like when I just I just understand that the, this is a global worldwide thing going on right now that does have the ability to hurt economies and hurt countries and especially countries that are less wealthy. And I just feel like it's almost selfish of us to be like, oh, it's fine. Like we're going to be fine. Like the UK is going to be fine. So what's the problem? Let's just let it happen oh, that, because that's... other people are going to suffer from us not giving but a shit. But that's for everything. Look at the ice cap. Yeah, Look but we can recycling. do something Look about this. this now. We can do something about everything. Yeah, like there's literally there's true. not there's not yeah, one but the thing. ice caps business. Businesses are gonna aren't gonna are, are gonna businesses aren't gonna listen. The governments and the and the businesses are the biggest ones who um, and you don't think, are you don't emitting think, it. And okay, fine. So the governments don't even off. believe that that's true. That yeah. That's real. Okay, fine. So yeah, to get to your point, which is that um, if we all stay at home at home for two weeks and everything stops for two weeks and blah blah blah, mm-hmm. it will just end mm-hmm. and the, the, mm-hmm. the virus will die. Do you not think it will be the governments and businesses that will not let that happen? If we um, all wanted two weeks, yeah, I'm pretty because, sure I would say hell yeah. yeah I would, yeah, I would love would that. Long term, if we'd say we did that, it would pass. Two weeks would suffer, yes. But then think about it. If we don't, what's going to happen? Yeah, I think like, I just want to make sure that like I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm not trying sure? to like. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, I'm not trying to deliberately like scare people. But the fact of the matter is, it is scary to me anyway. Do you know what I feel like, Jade? Don't you think? Yeah. If there was like a prank, like remember punks or something? Oh my god, never. I feel me, like please. Jade would, would be the perfect honestly, victim. Yeah, honestly. But if, like if somebody just sent, like if we, if everyone was in on it and we sent her like an email saying this person's coming to your house, you need to pack a bag and move to Poland. Oh. She'd be gone because she would just believe it. You know and me and my research, I'd be like, who is this? Then, Where have they come from? Yeah, if, you'd going have on? to have like a follow-up email. Like, like, but, yeah, but if, if we planned it well enough, yeah. you would believe it and you'd be off. Starting a new life as Ag- Agnieszka. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, uh, to an, a small prank, yeah. But moving to Poland, not so not much, coronavirus you know. level <laughs> prank. Fucking hell! Imagine it's that. Yeah, I just feel like you could just say to Jade that, "Oh, the, the, did you hear about that that new something?" And she'd just be like. And then she'll be like, oh, yeah, cool. And she'll go home what and be think? up all night. Yeah, exactly. Is this true? If the research like, no is sleep. true, then the research is yeah, true. But, Jane, but if it's a lie, you need to take into account mm. what benefit of these people would it be to have you all up scared like that? Do you yeah, know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not losing sleep. I'm not thinking about it all the time. But if it comes up in discussion, like I do understand the severity of it. I'm not like worrying about it. Trust me. Like You are today. because you wanted us to pre-record. What? You in wanted batches. us. To, you wanted us to record in batches. Oh yeah, just because, just like, in case. But the thing that's is, not if a you small think, measure, that's not, a biggie. That's a biggie. That's a pre, like Jade, a we record measure. one hour a week. <laughs> oh my god! You guys tell what us. What about is it the crazy? other seven hundred and eighty hours in the week? Basically, you guys tell us that this is crazy. It's if crazy. I wanted to take preventative measures just in case, and the rare, like I didn't say, I said the very strong risk. Well, no, the. The low risk or whatever type of risk. You didn't use the word low risk. Jade yeah. said, guys, I think we should consider recording multiple yeah, episodes consider. soon to prepare for the spread of the coronavirus. Because yeah. Boris even said it's a high risk. Oh, it's and very Boris. Likely. And then the I, said, I, said, huh? I said, it's a high risk. I said, huh? What do you mean? She mm-hmm. said, coronavirus is best spread in here and the government have issued a warning basically saying that mm. it's extremely likely to become an epidemic in the UK, yeah. Jade, including the London. So if that does happen, everyone is told to work from home and isolate. So how will we we record? Mm. So I want to prepare for that. You just said, just just a second ago, you said, what if there's a low risk? This is not what this says. I know, no, but I'm saying that there is a risk that that could happen. Like, are we denying that there's a risk? There's that also a risk that we could step home? out of the store right now and get hit by a and car. And if there was something I could do to prevent that, then I would. Yeah, look left and right. <laughs> but if the car speeded, then I would, and I'll be fine. But this, I this is my preventative measure now. If I could avoid us having to cancel recordings, then I will. Like, if if it's, I mean, even what would what would be the harm? Even if we did pre-record episodes, then we could just have a few weeks off, and like we could just post them. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not going to harm to have the harm would be episodes. that our content is pre-recorded and we wouldn't be able to do things off the bat and that are current because we've pre-recorded yeah, but then for if the we last wanted to and everything weeks. was fine then we could do another recording 
Like, and then yeah, we've I mean, lost we the just... money for the studio. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> no, we haven't. Yes. We could just do two in one week, I'm saying. If we wanted to do another one, we could just do another episode. If we felt uh, like there was, you know, we don't have to use them and not do an episode. We could just have them stocked up for when we need them. Okay. I don't know. You guys tell me if that's crazy to prepare Honestly. for the worst. I don't know. I always prepare for the worst. Honestly. Because I'm not I just preparing can't. for the worst. Oh, you're speaking. Just, you're literally is speaking. Is that not the worst speaking like it's World War II Honestly. and we've got to go underground to Honestly, our bunkers. Honestly, like you're literally, the day after tomorrow, I can't imagine what that film must do to Can you. I just oh say something? God. I was listening to Half Cast podcast the other day and Poet reminded me of the time. It was back, I think it said 2002. And the, they were like, there's going to be a massive power cut. Oh, Everything's mate. going to be out. Um... This is as I'm saying this story, I realize that you guys are probably too young to remember. <laughs> yeah, Jay just, didn't remember Ebola. Go on. Um, I did, I just wasn't there. Um, and there was going to be a I massive know. power cut. Everyone needs to stock up with supplies. Everyone needs to get like a generator but in case and mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. And everyone was running around. Oh my God, we're going to have no electric, blah, blah, blah. And nothing happened. Was that in America? It was here. Mm. Oh, okay. I remember What was there like thinking always... behind that? What was the fact um, behind that? I can't remember the reason, but hearing it on that podcast reminded me I can't remember the reason why but I remember it happening and I remember my my mum like going out and buying torches Mm -hmm. buying bare cans of food and stuff because she had kids that needed to eat still and like buying bare things and just things that my mum would never even consider getting yeah Um, yeah well not tent but like sleeping bags but we've still got our house why are you buying sleeping bags (laughs) 